In today's workshop, we will review standard deviation and go over how they can be solved both by hand and using your NCEES approved calculator. Let's see how we can get it done using our calculator. When using our calculators, we will use the built-in functionality of the TI-36X Pro. Well, so let's start with solving this exact problem we just worked through manually. What I will do is go step-by-step step through the process and then I will flip to a video where I will solve the exact problem live so you can see how it all plays out and get a visual on the process. So let's calculate the standard deviation of the same data set. The first step is to activate the data table so we can store this data points we are given in the problem statement. To do this, first hit the data button twice to come to a screen similar to this. Now we want to clear all the data currently stored in the calculator. This is a good practice even if you haven't used the tables before. So once on this screen, scroll down to option four and press enter to clear all the data sets stored in your calculator. Now that all the tables are cleared of data, we now want to input the data points. We will be on a screen that looks similar to this one right here on your screen. This is where you will fill in all the data points that you're given in the problem. We are working with a univariate statistics here, or one variable statistics. So we are only concerned with the L1 column, which is where all of our X values will be input. Start with the first data point, which is six, and input that into the calculator and press enter. This will take you to the next data line in the L1 column where you will input the second point as we just did and press enter and input the remaining data points and when complete hit the second button and the and the mode button to select the quit option which is highlighted right there in blue now that we are back to the home screen we now need to activate the one variable statistics functionality to begin our calculations to do this, click on the second button and then the data button to activate the stat regression distribution functionality indicated in blue. And you will be brought to a screen that looks similar to this one. Once on this screen, click down, click the down arrow to select option two for one variable statistics. Now we need to define the location of our data. When you choose one variable statistics, you will be brought to a screen that's similar to the one you're seeing right there. This is where we will define the column where we input our data points. From our previous step, we know that our X data is in the L1 column and also that the frequency is one. So press enter two times and then a third time once calc is highlighted to carry out the calculation. Now finally, we mine the data for the standard deviation. We will now be on a screen that looks similar to this one. There's a lot of good information here, but we are looking only for the standard deviation of the data we entered for this specific problem. To reference this value and knowing we are working with a discrete set of data points, we want to scroll down until you reach sigma x, representing the population standard deviation, which is 